What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell, I have a Yield Curiosity unboxing video for you guys. I have their House of Black box, which was kind of their Halloween box. Yes, this I'm very late on unboxing this. But I also have their Christmas box, which just came today. As always, I am beyond excited to see what they came up with for these boxes. For those who don't know, Ye Old Curiosity Box is a Harry Potter subscription box. Right now, they're just doing one-time purchase boxes, kind of based around a theme, like their House of Black and Christmas box. Um, they're not doing monthly or quarterly or anything yet. I think eventually that might be their goal. But for now, again, it's just one-time purchases. I do not remember how much I paid for these as usual. I'll try to find the email and put the prices of both boxes on the screen. I don't think these boxes were as, quite as expensive as their first box. If you guys missed me unboxing their very first box ever, definitely go check it out. I will try to remember to link it in the description. No promises, I always forget. But I'm just gonna go ahead and jump on in. Let's do the House of Black box first. It has been sitting here way too long. I'm still trying to catch up on boxes. Ooh, we have some gold foiling paper. Sneak peek. We got tons of different packages. Right on top, we have a card with the Black Family Tapestry. And yes, on back is spoilers, so we will save this for last. Ooh, and right off the bat, I see an envelope with my name. Again, you guys know I am a sucker for some gold foiling. My inner Niffler is so happy right now. And it has a wax seal on the back with a B. I'm assuming for black. Came with a note, which I'm gonna read first. It said, my dearest Tabitha, we apologize for the stupid train. It says, my dearest Tabitha, we apologize for the late owl on notification, but we have only just found you. My faithful elf, Creature, has tracked you down specifically on my accord to receive several prized items and a few leftover items in my former house per inheritance. It has come to attention you are the last living blood relative known that I accept to the Black family. Distant, however, but still blood. Upon receiving said items, I have full trust you will not be, tra be traitorous or do any embarrassing deeds. Oh, definitely, definitely do that. If you have received this letter, my family attorney has found amended and should be including a box of items gathered after the battle and estate. Secondly, feel free to toss any unwanted items I've included from Trader X family members. They just could not stay in the house anymore. You can assure I will be watching sincerely something black. And that's probably Sirius's mother. Yes, I have inherited the black estate. She must not know that I am a Gryffindor. Shh, don't tell her. But also in the envelope was a key Xander's here, to Grimwald Place. We have our antique key, but it also came with this kind of wooden label that says 12 Grimwald Place with a really pretty flower, flourish, whatever, whatever you wanna call it, with some glitter. But not only that, it came with a picture of the troll umbrella stand that Tonks kept tripping over. That is hilarious. Such a cute reference from the book. I love this perfect addition to my Harry Potter key collection, which is ever growing and I love that. <laughs> Next, we have another envelope with some really pretty gold foiling details on the back. It is an art print with a hand holding a wand, but it also has like a crescent moon up here, a moth, a wolf, I think, or a dog, a snake or fish snake coming out of a fish? I, I don't know about that. To be completely honest, I have no idea what this is and it's reference to Harry Potter other than just the wand. Does this have something to do with House of Black? Not my favorite art print to be honest. I think mainly just because I don't get it and it's not blatantly Harry Potter to me. I mean, it's very pretty. The artist obviously has a lot of talent. I just don't get it. So, so yeah. 
Boo. Next, we have a box with a skull. Ooh, I can already tell what this is because I can smell it. This is a bath bomb of pumpkin juice. This says pumpkin juice bath bomb, scent marshmallow fireside, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And it has ingredients on there, which I always appreciate. And this is from the witch's bath. This smells so freaking good. It definitely smells like pumpkin. Ooh, I cannot wait to try this. But there were two other packages in there. Let's open this one first. It has a cute little pumpkin sticker and it's three different stickers. The first one is a pumpkin juice bottle. It even has the little pumpkin on top. So cute. And then we have a bottle of Skelly Grow. I love the color of the potion in there. And the label says dreadful regrowing bones potion, 777 drops. And the last sticker was of a butterbeer. It says, I'm just batty over butterbeer. And it has little bats in the foam. These are so freaking cute and would have been perfect around Halloween. Again, I'm a failure because I'm unboxing this so freaking late. But I know stickers aren't for everyone. But you guys know I collect Harry Potter stickers. And these are just so detailed, so adorable. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> and the next package, it is an enamel pen of Birdie Bot's Beans Spooky Flavor. This is from Twilling and Tatting's Magical Mischief Managed. I love this. I love the color of the bag, very Halloween-y. But I also love how sparkly this is. I'm not sure it's picking up on camera. I really want more Halloween themed Harry Potter enamel pens because Halloween really is my favorite holiday. The perfect enamel pen for this box. Next, we have another box. Oh, so it's a pumpkin topper. And the box says, this topper was handmade by Alchemy for the Skin. To avoid spillage in shipping, we used a second cork top. Feel free to add to bottle once opened. May not be tight fit, shake with caution. So I'm assuming we have a pumpkin juice bottle in one of these boxes. I'm gonna put this right here until I get to that package. Oh, that's exciting. Next we have a black bag and it's a brown package that says shake well for full effects. So maybe this is the pumpkin juice. Oh, and it is the pumpkin juice, freshly brewed pumpkin juice, 1837. Alchemy for the skin, premium sparkling pumpkin juice, twilling and tatting, shake well, pumpkin juice, praline body oil. Wait, is this body oil? I probably will not be using it as body oil, but I am loving this color, very sparkly. And it even has a little pumpkin charm on there. Let's put our pumpkin topper on top. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is actually my third pumpkin juice bottle. I have one from Incantrix Apothecary, one from the Wizarding Trunk, but I don't even care because each bottle is so different. They stand on their own and I, Love it. I'm gonna have a pumpkin juice bottle collection going on now. And the fact that you could use this if it's actually body oil is amazing. I love when boxes combined usable and displayable because it's perfect for people who want usable items because unlike me, they might not have a crazy collection going on uh, and want tons of displayable items like me. So again, I love that this is both usable and displayable. Perfection. Next, we have another brown package. It is an elf head. And on the bottom, it says gold rated elf head, item number 777, estate, clean out, ye old curiosity shop. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little creepy. <laughs> Which totally goes on theme with House of Black because there was a lot of creepy stuff in there. I don't even know what to think about this. Other than the fact that this is the perfect Halloween decoration. And I love the case that they put this in. I don't know if you can tell, but on the bottom, it has kind of like broken glass design, very sparkly. Wow. 
it's in it's a elf head we have our we have our own elf head <laughs> next we have another brown box that says found this left by that awful weezabee family <laughs> blood traitors okay so we have a note and something in tissue paper it is a potion of doxyside hemlock essence something dragon liver something something essence and something seven ounces yeah i failed at that even though this label is hard to read i love it and how they have like this kind of moonstone detail this looks very authentic to the wizarding world but the note was an actual art print of the doxy that gives us some details about it long tail big ears four arms four legs bites spits flutters destroys things use doxyside spray directly or use gel on hands to kill and keep away flying annoying doxies molly so this is a note from molly weasley be wary, doxyside is a poison used sparingly. You can actually open this and it actually smells like hand sanitizer. So again, this might be another usable and displayable item. Again, I'm, I'm not sure if this is actual hand sanitizer. We'll find out at the end. You guys know I love potions, so this will definitely be displayed on my potion shelves. Yes. Next, we have a little wooden black box. Ooh, it has a label in there that says handmade brooch by Arcturus Black 1855. And it has different names down here. So I'm assuming this is a brooch and it is, but it's a wooden brooch that you can actually put on your shirt and wear. This looks like the Black Family Crest with a B on there. This is like another item that's been kind of carved or burned into wood to make this design that is so freaking cool and i love that it came in like its own keepsake box next we have another black pouch so it is a jar of seashells with what kind of looks like lavender and little crystals at the bottom not gonna lie guys i have no idea what this is in relation to harry potter and the house of black Hold on, let me just look at the cheat sheet. Prized spelled shells vial with lavender line and real amethyst crystals. Only pure blood black family members can visit the private Black Point Beach. Head east toward Blackstock Road in the London Borough of Isling Islington. Make sure you have the vial or the beach will not appear. It's been in the family for decades. Collect a new shell or two for later. Once they break, they've aged and can no longer be used for entry. Okay, so that makes a little more sense now. Not my favorite item, to be honest. I like items that are kind of more blatantly Harry Potter, but that's a cute idea. I love that Yield Curiosity Box kind of came up with this story of their own private beach. I can just see Sirius and his brother Regulus laying around on a beach growing up. Next, we have a photo in a frame, I do believe, of Sirius's mom. If this is what I think it is, I am going to lose it. It says gently remove white tab. You can put it back for reuse or gently let lift clear tab so metal can touch back for reuse. Okay, hold on. Oh my God, I, I am done. I am done. We actually have a talking portrait. I can't, I, I can't even right now, y'all. That is genius. The best item ever. I, I, I can't, I can't deal with this. You can't have a house of black box without this. Perfection, perfection. And last, we have another big envelope, again, with that gold sticker that says, have you seen my son's necklace? Uh, yeah, Creature has it now. It is a picture of the necklace with the note inside from RAB. That is so cool. And this is actually a really big picture. Definitely one that I will wanna get framed or put on my dark art section of my bookshelf whenever they get up. 
That is amazing. Great way to finish this box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card to make sure I didn't miss anything. Number one was the 1954 Screaming Portrait of Walburga Black. Walburga, is that how you say that? Walburga Black. Sirius's mom. Printed on high quality silk paper. Be sure to try the tab and directions on the back. Has about 80 to 90 uses. Amazing. Number two, lastly revised will and testament personalized letter to claim your birthright as the distant black family member. Number three, Grimwald Place skeleton key with wooden tab and lucky ugly troll foot keychain. Four, Molly's leftover Doxyside Doxy Killer, a pine scented hand sanitizer. Oh so yeah, there's actual hand sanitizer in here. Perfect for the times. Can be used or displayed. Number five was Molly's Doxy Infogram to show you what to look for in case you decide to visit. Number six was Mistress's first shrunken health ed encased in gold and domed. We're still uncertain who pawned it to Yield Curiosity Shop, but we retrieved it for your collection. Number seven was the prize spell shells. I already read that. Number eight, the mini black box containing heirloom and information of heirs since 1855. Be sure to sign your name. Number nine was the heirloom natural emblem wooden brooch hand carved in 1985, designed by Twilling and Tattings and Mystical Botanica. Number 10 was the large high quality silk photo print of R.A.B.'s necklace by Tiff Original. Number 11, the dark house mystical hand with wand and magical print by Twilling and Tattings. Bonus spooky season items. Number 12 was the vintage pumpkin juice bottle. Praline pumpkin scented body oil can be used or displayed. Number 13 was the three specialty Ellie mug and bottle stickers, one glittery and two clear bottles. Number 14, the LE Vintage Spooky Bean Bag Enamel Pen collaboration by Magical Mischief Manage and Twilling and Tattings. And 15 was the Pumpkin Juice Mug Bath Bomb by The Witch's Bath designed by Twilling and Tattings. So 15 items overall. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Um, I think my favorite item is probably really obvious, and that would be the actual screaming portrait of Sirius's mom. But I also really loved our pumpkin juice and doxy side, and the fact that they're usable and displayable. Least favorite would probably be the vial of shells or this art print here, just not my favorite. But overall, I thought this was such an amazing box. Definitely gave me Halloween vibes, makes me miss October. But we still have one box left, which is their Christmas box. Ooh, and their label is a little different. Magical Christmas Edition. Very pretty. Again, loving the gold foiling. Sneak peek. Right on top, we have a red envelope with a snowflake sticker. And it's a Christmas card that says, Hello, Tabitha. Hope you are feeling better. Have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you so much and hope you love the box. Always, Stephanie. That is so sweet and I am feeling much better. And so far, I'm loving the boxes. I think this is the only Christmas card I got this year. <laughs> but let's do another sneak peek. And right on top, we have the spoiler card for the Yield Curiosity Box Magical Christmas Edition. And on the back, we have a really pretty art print, kind of like Yule Ball themed with some chocolate frogs, even some jelly beans down here. Very pretty. First, I see a blue bag that says Peppermint Toad Bath Melt from the Witch's Bath. We have a little blue bag with the ingredients. Let's take a look. And it's shaped like an actual toad that is blue with glitter. Like this is so glittery. I have glitter all over my hands. So I'm not gonna take it out right now. Can't really smell it through the plastic, but I'm sure it smells like peppermint. This will be very interesting to try. I wonder if I'm gonna be completely glitterified after using this, but I'm excited. <laughs> Next, we have a really big pink pouch, y'all. It is a tumbler that says shelves upon shelves of the most succulent looking sweets imaginable. Look at the top of this. It's like whipped cream with different candies on there. We even have a chocolate frog and some jelly beans. That is so freaking cute. And I am loving the color of this tumbler. And look how big this is. That is just 
adorable. There are no other words. Oh no. Oh, I think mine broke, guys. Oh, that's so sad. Because I don't think this is supposed to come off. And this is actually really soft, so I can see how it can break really easily. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Okay, I'm going to stop messing with it before I break it even more. But it did come with a little note that said, Sweet Shop Soft Touch Tumbler. Please remember not to get craft topper wet, hand wash inside, and remove straw to wash. So I'm not quite sure how practical this is, even though it is beyond adorable. Because, like, we mostly use tumblers for, like, traveling and stuff. And I feel like this would break so easy. I still love this. I'll definitely be using this tumbler quite a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this off because there's no way this is going to stay, but this is still so cute. I'll probably end up putting this like on my honeyduke section on my bookshelf. Next, we have an item in blue tissue paper. It is a wooden Christmas ornament. You can see the great hall kind of in the background and it has the design from the Yule Ball for their pumpkin juice table station kind of thing. That is so pretty and very sparkly. I'm not sure it's picking up on camera. I love this. The perfect Christmas ornament for this box. Next, we have a little blue package with the snowflake sticker. It is the two Christmas jelly bean enamel pins from the Mad Unicorn. If you guys do not follow the Mad Unicorn on Instagram, you definitely should. Some of the best Harry Potter enamel pins I've ever seen. Be warned though, her enamel pins go so freaking fast. Every time I've tried to get her enamel pins, and I put them in my cart, they were gone before I could even finish paying. That's how fast her enamel pins go. So needless to say, I absolutely love these. Anything from Mad Unicorn, uh, yeah, I am a fan. <laughs> Next, we have a really big brown package with a wooden golden snitch which will probably end up on my Christmas tree as an ornament. It is my personalized poly juice potion. I totally forgot about this. We were able to pick out a color and I picked silver and it came with a poly potion card, color silver, scent, fairy dust, attributes, thick, metallic, shimmery, glitter, extra sparkle, because you guys know I love me some glitter, bottled by Twilling and Tattings. Oh, look at that. It is very sparkly. And it even came with a wooden tag personalized to my name. Again, you guys know I love anything that is personalized. That is so pretty. It honestly kind of reminds me of unicorn blood. I love it. I love it. And we have another box and some wrapping paper. Christmas came early. <laughs> It is a candle that says Ogden's Old Fire Whiskey, sparkling candle since 1612, a camp fiery cinnamon, whiskey scented soy candle with shimmery glitter, real garnet gems, and a tri-colored woodwick. And it even has a wax seal on the top. It definitely is very glittery. That is so pretty. I'm loving the little gems. Ooh, it definitely smells like cinnamon. It straight up reminds me of the big red chewing gum. Ooh, and I like it. <laughs> and this is actually a really big candle and I'm pretty sure this is glass. So it definitely feels like a good quality candle. And we have another blue bag with the snowflake sticker. It is a Yule Ball Christmas ornament. That is so pretty and it is plastic and not glass, which honestly I'm very happy about because between my kids and my cats, we have had so many ornaments come off of our tree. So if this was glass, it would probably end up shattered. So I'm definitely glad they chose plastic, even though it does kind of look like it's on glass. Such a cool design. Perfect ornament for my Harry Potter Christmas tree. Yes. We are finally to the last item. It is a wooden sign of Potagy's Cauldron Shop Quality Pots established 1609. Not very Christmassy, but I still love this. Ye Old Curiosity Box is the only Harry Potter box 
that I know of that does items like this, like the wood carving items. That is so freaking cool. This will definitely be hung up on my wall somewhere. That is, that is amazing. Talent. But guys, that was everything in the box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card. We had seven items in this box. Number one was the Yule Ball Crystal Castle Acrylic Ornament. Number two was the Yule Ball Wooden Christmas Cookie Scented Ornament. Number three was the Fire Whiskey Fireside Scented Candle. Please carefully remove garnets before use. Number four was the Custom Poly, po poly Potion in Apothecary Bottle. Number five was Honeyduke Sweet Shop Themed Tall Soft Touch Cup. Number six was the Pottages Cauldron Shop Wooden Sign. And number seven was the Yule Ball Pumpkin Juice LE Mad Unicorn Studio Collab. Bonus items was the Backside Yule Ball Print. This one here. The Peppermint Toad in a Bag Bath Melt by the Witch's Bath and Mini Snitch Ornament. So 10 items really in all. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. I think my favorite items would have to be my poly juice potion, the tumbler, the jelly bean enamel pins, or the cauldron shop wooden sign. I really didn't have a least favorite. Overall, I thought this box was really good. You can definitely tell a lot of time and thought went into these boxes, especially with all of the personalized items, all of the handmade items, which tend to be my favorite items. So yeah, I really enjoyed both of these boxes. If I had to choose between the House of Black box and their Christmas box, I do think I liked the House of Black box a little bit more. I honestly think that portrait, the screaming portrait just Threw it on top for me. That is, I still can't get over that. But again, I thought both of these boxes were really good. But as always, I would love to hear what you guys thought in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'm even wearing my Harry Potter Christmas sweater just for the occasion. But that's, what's that? That's my owl carousel. Do you like it? Yeah, but why is it spinning slow? It's because the fire is putting heat up that's turning the fan. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. We have a brown, brown, brown. I need to get my eyes checked. And it's a brown, brown. What is that? Pumpkin juice. Pumpkin juice. I like it. Show him your tooth. Xander lost his first tooth. Did the tooth fairy come? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Take my tooth. Took your tooth, that's right. I got a tooth about to fall out. Yeah, he also has another wiggly tooth. <laughs> Freshly brewed pumpkin juice. Is it amazing? What does it say? I like it. I like it. Is it a potion? Is it a potion? And something. What's that tape? Yeah, it's tape. How did I know that? Because you're so smart. Oh my god. Another big tape. What does it say? What does it say? <gasps> Do not open it. You will spill it. You won't spill it. Can I smell it? It actually smells really good. Please smell good. <laughs> oh, that smells like candy tiger. <laughs> Oh, I know it because it smells like It hand does kind of smell like hand sanitizer. <laughs> You're so smart. At the back. Ooh. 
What does that say? It says, I love mommy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love it. Here, go put it on the fridge for me. Okay. Come here, Xander. Listen. What? Was more extreme than me. Yeah, I was going to sleep all morning when I went Brown? What is up with me in colors? Love you. Love you. It's red. It is red. Look how sparkly. Let me see. Let me smell it. not smell it smells like cinnamon you he must not like cinnamon y'all uh, uh, I like cinnamon. but you think it smells bad smell it mm. <laughs> it smells like cinnamon muffin uh -huh. lies go baby one two three go. my hand is out of my shirt okay baby go silly boy <laughs> you're so silly that is a lot of stuff Thank mm -hmm. you.